And just scream into it. Hi, my name is Rachel. <laughs> Welcome to Jack. Um, so my name is Rachie, and I created this makeup look. So I wanted to create something that was easy, effortless, and fun. So this look was meant to be just for a transition into fall. So we're just pretty much finishing summer and so I just wanted to create something that was a little bit fun and so it has a little bit of color so you can see the pink is a bit muted and monochromatic so I wanted something easy so I hope that you like this makeup look and if you don't um, at least you like the hair because I think the hair makes it look that much juiced up so I did a blowout and so this was just an easy makeup look, makeup and hair. So really hope that you really like this and that you want to keep watching my channel. So please continue watching as I get into the makeup. Yeah, okay, so this is the fourth time making this video. I just want to know that effort into making sure that you guys enjoy my channel. And yes, so... Um, so I'm spraying my face with Ember Lace because I, so I just came out of the shower and I'm going to put on some Ember Lace. It's almost like cold cream because my skin gets that dry. And so, there we go. So, so on my face prime, um, so I have my moisturizer on. What I'm going to do is let that sink in and, and style my hair. Okay, so I'm going to put my hair back because after putting on the face makeup, I'm going to um, blow dry it, but I'm going to pin it back first. So, I'll show you how I pin my hair back. So I'm going to probably just go from the middle, this brush. What it has is a pick at the bottom, so if you didn't know your brush does that, just check it out. So I'm going to put a very sharp part in my hair, and I want it sharper than that, so I'm going to go backward. And making sure it's nicely parted. So, is that sharp enough? Okay. There we go. I guess that's sharp enough. I like to use a hair oil. So I'm just going to put this at the bottom of my hair. So just at the... So this is how much I put in. And... So I think that's a lot. I'm just going to place it at the ends of the hair. And that's just so my hair doesn't get so damaged because I'm going to blow dry my hair. And I don't want it to dry out so much. And I've only shampooed my hair. I didn't put any other creams, anything else in my hair. Now let's section out the hair. Hello, it's me doing a voiceover. Sorry I had to interrupt because the TV was that loud. And Queen was playing in the background, so... <laughs> All I'm doing in this short little clip is that I am s using a gator clip and I'm clipping the back of my hair. So as you can see, I twisted it in the back and yep, that's all. And so you can see I'm just making four sections and this is just a pre-step before blow drying it after I finish doing my makeup. So thank you and out of here now. with a primer and so it's actually a facial cream so I like to go in with face food so I like to support um, my friend who creates this so this is handmade and it's more oil based so you can see inside here and so a lot of the ingredients in here are natural so I'm going to list off some of the ingredients so this is what she calls face food and her company is called nurture with nature and so what she's put inside here is argan oil, calendula oil, golden jojoba oil, comfrey oil, so a lot of oils in here. So like evening primrose oil, rose hip seed oil, aloe vera gel, vitamin E. So yeah, the list goes on. So a lot of the things in here are natural. So I don't like to dig into any of my containers like this. So I like to go in with the little spatula I picked up from DCM, the Abnormal Beauty Company. This is what I'm using to just dig into containers where I don't really want to dig in with your hands. And so I've only grabbed just a little bit. I'm just going to place this just in the center of my face. 
this pad everything in. This is just a barrier that I like to use to kind of shield my skin from makeup. And now I'm gonna go in with foundation. My trick with foundation is I actually like to use concealer because I don't like to go in heavy with foundation. So this is actually Kevin Aquan. This is the Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'm just gonna go in with the actual makeup spatula, not the little spoon that I used earlier. And I'm just gonna take just a little bit. This is gonna be enough for, for your face alone. Take in, and I'm gonna place this palette, so this is an actual candle holder. Here, I'm gonna place this just on the spatula. And I'm gonna go in with an e.l.f. Um, concealing brush. So I'm gonna pick up the rest of it with, the, and so I'm just gonna buff this, um, let's see. Which side is the worst? So I'm gonna buff it on this side, so you can see it's more red on this side. Just so you can see the difference it makes. So I'm just, so I'm so sorry. So as you can probably see, hopefully you can just ignore that little bump there. So a little bit of this goes a long way. So I'm gonna dig in again with the concealer. And so I'm just gonna buff this all along my skin where I think that I need coverage. And so I'm gonna put a little bit around my nose because that's where I get a lot of redness. So I'm gonna go over my brows with this. So again, like another reason why I like to use the facial oils because that helps to spread the concealer across the skin. And so it looks like skin and doesn't look like makeup. And so, so I'm gonna buff this side out here. And so I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush. So I'm gonna go in with a nice fluffy brush. And so this one is from NYX. And so I'm just gonna pat it. Because as I buff that all out, so you can see a little bit of the redness coming out. I'm gonna go in with like a really tiny flare brush. And I really just wanna go in a little dot around acne here just to cover it. Okay, and so I'm gonna lightly tap on. I really don't want to remove the rest of the concealer. I don't want to make this perfect because skin isn't perfect. I still have the rest of the concealer and I'm gonna place this under my eyes. I'm gonna go And right here. Big brush and just lightly stamp that out here. So I'm gonna go in with this blush right now. So I find this is just really beautiful. And it actually matches the eyeshadow. So we're gonna go in with this for eyes. I'm gonna go in with um, MAC 217, so this one's synthetic, so I like to use this for creams. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush here. I'm gonna go on my cheeks just a little bit. There we go. Don't want it too, so I want it centered on my cheeks, so I want to create like a, a triangle as well, so like you can see it's a bit here and then it just fades into like a sharp point as we get to the temple. We use the same brush we used to buff up the foundation and I'm just gonna gently just buff around here. I'm gonna go on the other side. Again like I disturbed the skin there so where I place the foundation it came done a little bit ago and now I want to go in with a cream contour so I like to use this to both contour and to bronze my skin so I like to go in with another NYX brush and so this is a nice thick fluffy fan brush and I like to just dip on one side of the brush here and I'm just going to just stamp on the side of my cheek so I don't like to go a little bit too high or too low so I like to go just just above where so you can see like there is a bit of an indent in my cheek I like to go above when you buff it out the cream contour does tend to go down a bit and plus you want it to look more like you're lifted so if I were to place it inside here it would almost go down towards my jawline and we don't want that we want it to look like our cheeks are natural in shape I want to blend this up just a little bit 
And so with the other side that I didn't place any prod, can you use that to blend it out just a little bit? Just do a little bit on the jawline. So I like to give my face shape more of an angular shape. I like to go in just a little bit higher around the chin area and then to go down just a little bit lower, if that makes sense. Just so I have more of that angular face shape that we <laughs> all kind of really want. Almost the square jaw. I'm just going to go in with the other fluffy brush that we were using earlier and just blend everything out seamlessly. So I want to dab this in and I'm just going to go over my nose because I want to look nicely sunburnt. Not burnt. So I like to look sun-kissed. <laughs> and now dip into the concealer again and just go ever so slightly downward. Create more of a straight chiseled nose. And another trick I like to use is down on my nose here, uh, just to make my nose look lifted. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with powder. I'm gonna go in with uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, sorry, I didn't explain what I was using. So I was using Lisa Eldridge. So this is her lipstick. So I like to use this lipstick. because A lot of her lipsticks are universal, and so they look good on almost every skin shape. I went in with Danessa Myrick. So this is her Balm Contour. So I like to use this both as a bronzer and as a contour. Now I'm going to go in with powder so I like to okay so normally I like to go in with Laura Mercier but I want to go in with Charlotte Tilbury because my skin is a little bit more tanned this is a medium and this is actually a lot better so like even though it doesn't look like it's gonna match my skin when you place it on it goes on a little bit darker and it photographs really well so this is a powder I really love to use especially if I'm gonna go photograph so I'm just gonna go on just a little bit so I'm not gonna take on too much because you really don't need so much powder. This help blurs out pores. There we go. So I only want to go in the center of my face, blend everything out. I'm probably just going to go in with Laura Mercier under my eyes. Um, I like to set the concealer under my eyes because if I go in with mascara at the bottom, it'll smudge and that's usually because I didn't set underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go in with big fluffy brush. I'm going to take in just a little bit so if you can see. That's how much I've placed on my palette here. So I just want to place just a little bit here. There we go. Let's set powder. Okay, so we finished. Now that we have our base completed, I want to show you how I completed this eye shape. So I'm going to go in with another Janessa Myricks color fix. So this is a cream and it sets matte. So this is multi-purpose. So you can use this on your face, your cheeks, your eyes. I'm just going to use a little tiny bit. So a little bit goes a long way. So if you can see here, that's a lot. And that's enough for both eyes. One eye. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. So I used this brush on this eye already, but I just spot clean. And now I'm going to take in just a little bit. And I'm going to go with the base of the eyes. Um, so I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna go in at the root of my lashes. I'm gonna start there and just build the product. I'm just gonna bring this up. So this is not gonna look perfect and that's fine. We're gonna blend out the edges and I'm not gonna bring this up as high because we wanna blend this out. So as you can see, I have hooded eyes and so I like to bring the eyeshadow up a bit higher. But with the cream contour, we want it to also look blended. So if I bring this up to the length that I want it to and I blend it, it's going to go up to my brows. So we're going to take this just a little bit lower. If this makes any sense where I'm placing the eyeshadow. And I also want to wing this. I'm going to take a little bit more. Go at the bottom of my lashes. And I'm going to create a nice line. So I'm just going to wing this out. Follow the natural line that my bottom lash line and wing it out just a little bit and create the same shape on the other side and just connect it here. And now, as you can see, like everything is setting and now I really want to now try to blend as much as I can with the same brush and the same product. We're just gonna lightly blend everything. So that has the eye shape that I want and I'm gonna go in with a little bit more product and go bottom of my lashes and 
can do is go in with the same brush we used for concealer. Try to blend up the edges here. So I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow here, and so this is more of a bone shade. But I'm also going to be using this, and this is from e.l.f. Cosmetics, so this is $5 for the palette. This is a matte shade, and I'm going to put this on the inner corner of my eye and try to blend it out a little bit further to the outer. Just to bring a little bit more definition to the eyes. And with this brush, and I'm going to pack on the color. So I'm just going to really pat this on the inner corner of my eye. And, I'm gonna put... and so I don't want this to go down to my lash line. I want that to be a little bit darker. So as you can see, I'm not making this perfect. I'm just packing on the eyeshadow and with a fluffy brush. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush and I'm going to tap into this dusty pink and I'm going to place that just around the edges and to blend the eyeshadow so I'm going to take this on the outer corner and just to deepen the color just a little bit there we go and now I'm going to go in with an angle brush and I'm going to tap into the dark shade so I'm using mattes only and I'm just going to wiggle this onto the outer corner of my eye. I want to create a smudged liner that's not so intense. Now I'm going to go to the bottom lash line here. And now I want to go in with this pencil brush and I'm going to smudge everything out. So I'm going to pick up just a little bit more on the brush just to intensify it just a little bit. And I'm just going to smudge everything out. So I'm going to wing this out just a little bit so I got a little bit of fallback and I'm going to use the same fluffy brush we used to powder the face and I'm just going to wipe it off just a little bit. And now to make my eyes a little bit bigger I'm going to go in with the nude eyeliner and I'm going to place this just on the bottom of my lash line. So on the inner lash line here I'm just going to go in. And for the inner corner here, I want it a little bit lower, and that's just to make my eyes a little bit bigger. Let's fix that. Okay, so I'm tapping in just a little bit of the pink here. And I'm just gonna curl the lashes. And I'm gonna go in with the waterproof mascara, and I'm just gonna go in with a thin layer. So this is a Great Lash by Maybelline. I just like to go in with a thin layer on my top lashes and that's so the curl of my lash holds. Now I'm going to go in with a regular mascara. This one isn't waterproof and this one is from Hourglass and so this is the Caution mascara and I'm just going to go and wiggle this into my lash is just wiggling it from the roots of my lashes and then just pulling up. There we go. And now I'm going to go and to the bottom lashes and I'm just going to drag the tip of the wand on the edges of my lashes. So I'm going to go in again into mascara, pick up some more under the wand and then I'm just going to like a normal person and just place the mascara at the bottom. Before that dries, I'm going to go in with a lash comb. I just want to make sure there's no clumps. And that's just for the bottom lashes because it's so easy for it to clump up. And now my top lashes, they're now dry. So I'm going to go in with another coat of la mascara. It's just to thicken it. Keep the lashes separated and clump free. I'm going to go in with the lash comb. Because it looks like it might need it. So another tip that I really recommend is finding a metal lash comb. Because this will save you. So this will be a whole lot better than using just a regular spoolie. So I prefer using a lash comb over a spoolie and especially a metal lash comb. I hope that was easy for you guys to understand me <laughs> as I walk, like talk through this look and now I want to go in with brows. So I'm just going to comb my brows into the shape that I want them. And I like to go in with powder. So I don't have any preference for what I like to use for my brows. So I like going in with powder. Sometimes I'll go in with a pomade. I do a lot of things to my brows and that's just when I feel like doing something extra to my brows. And so this is my favorite powder. This is Anastasia. And so this is dark brown. So this is the brow powder duo. 
just go in with both shades. And so I'm just going to go in at the bottom. So I'm going to start at the bottom of my lashes here. And I'm just going to go slightly lower where my natural lashes begin. So that's just so I can help thicken my brows. And so this is the shape I like. Or I'm going to try to make my brows thicker but I'm not gonna fight the natural shape that it already has and now I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade so I've only placed both the light and the dark on the bottom now I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade here and I'm gonna place that on the top of my lashes or top of my brows and now again so I'm gonna go on the inner part of my brows just to in the color a little bit and so the brush I'm using is from Anastasia so I love this brush especially for powder so this brush I love to use for powder this one uh, I believe is 7b and then her other brush this one I really love and this one I would use for pomade and this one is 12 so there we go so it'll be like that shape and you can see it made a little bit of a difference and now I'm gonna finish this brow so as you can see, both eyes are complete. So this is the best I could do to make them even. So I think they're fairly even. So I'm going to go in with the same lipstick we used for blush and uh, use this. But I'm going to actually, I always like to go in with a lip liner. So I'm going to use, this is Maybelline's Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. Um, so this is in the color Totally Toffee, so this one is my favorite, and we're not going to make a perfect shape, we're going to make fluffy, I don't know, like fuzzy lips? I think that's what it's called, so I'm just going to overdraw my lips just a little bit. My lips are uneven, so this side tends to be a little bit lower, so I overdraw this side. So if you can see, they look a little bit even, and... I'm just going to go just a tad bit higher. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that shape. I hope, oh gosh, I hope you saw it now. And some of you noticed that this is really good at lining the lips so it's creamy enough that I can keep my lips closed and get the shape. So the reason why I'm not making that like stretching my lips like this is because when you close your lips and your lips are at a natural state the shape changes it's just better in my opinion if you keep your lips closed and just relaxed sorry sorry and now we can stretch our lips make sure that everything looks even so it's not even right here so I'm gonna fix that And so for the cor outer corner of the lips, and try to connect it. There we go. And now I'm going to use the same fluffy brush that we were using uh, with the color um, cream, or the color fix. And I'm just going to fluff out the edges of the eyeliner, or the lip liner, sorry, just to create fluffy lips. Now, kind of want a lip stain. What I like to do is go in with my finger, and that's almost just to stain the lips a little bit. This is a completed look. I really hope you guys like it. Now we can finish the hair. So I'm going to show you how I blow dry my hair. I am undoing the gator clip on the bottom section dividing my hair in half, detangling with a paddle brush. Now, you want to make sure your hair is about 90% dry, but my hair dries fast, so I blow dry it at roughly 70-80% to 80 dry. And with the round brush, I wrap my detangled hair around it. Also, the brush is a Moroccan oil one too. It's about 55 millimeters or about two and a half inches. It has a ceramic barrel that heats up, helping the hair to dry faster and for the style to hold. And the blow dryer is an old Conair one. 
Now I'm trying to explain the nozzle attachment. It is a heat condenser with the flat lips cut at an angle as I blow dry on either side of my head. I'm moving the nozzle around so the long end is away from me and the short end faces me and the flat length is always parallel with the brush so the air almost curves around the brush. If I did not use the nozzle, the air kind of blows everywhere, causing my hair to fly everywhere. And, well, I don't want frizzy hair, so the nozzle is kind of a big deal. Now, as I blow dry, I keep the brush vertical, pulling sideways, creating tension. This is to prevent frizziness. The third time wrapping um, my hair. It's already dry at that point. I'll turn the brush around, twisting my hair, creating a loose curl for the hair to set as it cools down. And that's pretty much it, so I'll let you watch me as I blow dry my hair now. Now that we're almost done with the blow dry, you've probably noticed that I am always putting the blow dryer down because I need to wrap my hair around the brush and that's because I'm not skilled. I can't just continually hold the brush and the blow dryer at the same time because my hair would just fly everywhere and this is just the easiest method for me to get like a sleek, smooth, 90s blown out hair. So this is pretty much the dummy's guide to blow drying your hair because I'm, as you can see, like I struggle 
and this is just the easiest way for me to to accomplish this look now i'm applying a wax uh, i can't pronounce the brand it's like swartzoff i'm sorry i'm like butchering the name but all the products i'm using will be listed in the description box below so this wax is to help tame all of my flyaways because i have a lot of new growth i'm always shedding hair and so this helps to tame all the flyaways okay so now that the hair is complete um now that i've taken a look at the makeup i think the blush is actually faded away i want to go in with milani so this is luminoso so i think this will be a good match between the eyeshadow and the lips. I'm going to go in with this fluffy angle brush for blush. And it's really powdery. So I want to tap off the excess. And I want to go on my inner wrist because I don't want such a strong blush. We can kind of control how much is going on our cheeks so that it's a little bit at a time. kind of goes and go on the other side as well and now I want to go over my nose a little bit go in with a little bit of the concealer just to go down the bridge of my nose this is the finished look I really hope you like it and that you want to recreate it yeah, <laughs> so I hope you at least like, if you didn't like the makeup, at least you like the hair because I'm not good at doing hair at all. And I think how I accomplished this was pretty easy. It may have been a bit time consuming considering if you go to a hair salon, you know, I think you get, you know, pretty good results. If you like this and you want me to put up more content, so please keep visiting my channel. Hopefully I'll come out with more <laughs> videos at least once a week. And yeah, so, okay. Have a good day. Bye. So, this, so, and so, so, and so, so, and so, so, and so, 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 makeup and so, here, brush. So, I'm gonna go, so, so, and so, 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 comma, so, 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 it so 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 I wanna so I wanna so and so so I wanna so so I wanna so so I wanna so and so so yeah so and so 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 this is um so and so so I'm not and so so I'm gonna nurse so this is so I'm gonna so so and so so this and so 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 I'll show you so so we wanna go so you can see so I wanna go so 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 i really hope so and so yes so so thank you for watching and